Man, I've been doing some measurements of peak brightness with this HLG HDR on, on this SDR game. And this is just incredible. I am getting 650 nits on that sun. 650 nits. This is an SDR game, an SDR signal. The TV is converting that to HDR flawlessly because you have a perfect luminance level. Nothing feels blowing out, nothing feels exaggerated. You go to the darkness and it is dark. The contrast is just amazing. You have highlights, like 650 nits highlights. There's not a lot of HDR games, uh, you know, mastered by the developers that you use, you know, your HDR settings and, and you get that. There's not a lot of them. And you can get this result on every single game and you do not have to tweak any settings. You don't have to do anything. You just turn on that HLG HDR and you go to the brightness, uh, the brightness uh, slider on the game you, you just have that on the default position and that's it <laughs> nothing else needs to be done so what I have right now here is no black frame insertion so on the previous videos I was showing black frame insertion because that's what I love but if you're interested in getting the most impactful and the highest image quality instead of using black frame insertion and tone mapping on you know dynamic tone mapping on you want to use HGIG man this is so impressive like this is the best picture quality you can get with this TV for gaming period period and I, I even have not only my subjective evaluation I am even measuring uh, and of course <laughs> I am measuring peak brightness with a cell phone app that's not accurate by any stretch of the imagination but still it is a reference point it is a reference because you know let's say that cell phone app has an accuracy that's minus 50 you know mass plus minus 50 still you know <laughs> 600 nits highlights that's amazing that's great Th this sun is blinding me and nothing looks blown out <laughs> everything looks right so you can on every single game you can just turn on G-Sync so if what you like is the amazing input lag uh, and you just turn on G-Sync there you go G-Sync you want the best picture quality you just come here HDR tone mapping HGIG and how do you get that HLG HDR let me show you look at the right corner of the screen well it's not showing uh, it's not showing because it's on uh, on borderless mode but I'm gonna show you how to get that setting on so you come here to picture you step on mode okay and you press one on one three one on one I showed that on the previous video and you just change this EOTF from auto you're gonna change that to so you see the difference this is SDR look at the sun look how it looks on SDR okay and this is on SDR actually let me do that comparison right now for you so you see what what we're talking about here so this is the the SDR presentation with no black frame insertion okay this is G-Sync no black frame insertion let's take a look at the settings see what we have here go to brightness so everything is maxed out okay everything but this big brightness which I can I can actually activate using that color control app okay and it would be a more of a fair comparison actually let me do that so it is a more uh, a fair comparison let me let me do that but here's the thing if you are on SDR you do not want to max out the contrast at all if you are not using black frame insertion uh, you do not want to max out brightness and contrast if you care about picture quality but on HDR 
that's the default. The default is contrast, contrast at 100%, brightness 100%, that's the default. So on SDR, that's not considered to be accurate anyway. But let's, let's just to have a fair comparison, let's turn on that big brightness to high, okay? So you see that what's going on here is not simply that, you know, you're just getting everything maxed out. So let's come here, big brightness, high. So now we're going to do a comparison of that EOTF uh, gamma curve. So you see how this looks, okay? Super bright, extremely bright, okay? But here's the problem. It looks just bright overall, but it looks flat, okay? This is looking flat. Like there's, it's just bright everywhere. The brightness is just everywhere. It looks flat, okay? So let's compare that with that setting, HLG HDR. So we just tap here, one, 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 three, one, one, one. And let's just come here to the EOTF, HLG HDR. And look at that. Now the image has more depth and it feels more accurate it feels like it's not like completely like it's not bright everywhere like you go to the darkness and it is low luminance like how it's supposed to be and then you have highlights so you don't have like like a flat just bright overall image everywhere it is it is better it, it has a better gamma curve you see turn mapping hdig g-sync no black frame insertion so this feels and looks right you have highlights like I said the Sun is 650 nits which is amazing but it's not bright everywhere so now it's gonna rain it looks like it's about to rain so you see the sky uh, is uh, it's about to rain and everything looks dark you know it's, it's getting darker so this luminance level feels right it's not just you know bright everywhere it looks better it's an is a more accurate uh, presentation and it is more it has a higher dynamic range it's not bright everywhere this is the best way like if you care about picture quality okay you don't care about motion resolution which I would take I would better instead of HGIG I would turn on dynamic tone mapping and instead of G-Sync, I would use Motion Pro, okay? I would play in that way. But I have to admit that if this is a better picture quality. Why? Because it has, I mean, it's not a be better picture quality in movement. In movement is crap. <laughs> movement is 300p. That's why I love uh, black frame insertion. But it is a higher, uh, dynamic range the image has more depth uh, you you do have the highlight you see that sun is brighter it looks shinier it looks amazing I mean it's it's just perfect <laughs> and I was showing on the previous video God of War and I was comparing the HDR from the developer which is completely messed up on the default position you set up HDR uh, you turn on dynamic tone mapping you look at the sky and you cannot see any clouds it's just a bright mess if you use HGIG it's too uh, it's messed up also you just have to you have to adjust the sliders and you can it's difficult to get it right with this setting you do not need to know how to s configure HGIG you don't you just turn it on and it's done the job is done for you the gamma curve how bright everything should be or how low it should be is all done for you <laughs> like this setting should be like you just go to settings it should be right there in your face <laughs> that setting is so good I don't know how LG is just hiding that like as something that is not even a thing that's the best setting that this TV has by far that setting should be here right here like just use it turn it on because this is the way I'm gonna use this TV for everything 
unless I get a game that has proper HDR implementation that I go to the game and I just tweak a little bit the sliders and I am getting better highlights then I would use that but look at this example I am getting 650 nits on the Sun on this game that's perfect and it's not 650 nits because everything just looks bright and blown out no everything looks right let's go to the darkness here for example let's go to shadow area this looks right it's not it's not exaggerated you go to you go to a bright part and it looks bright look at that it's being illuminated by the Sun it looks super bright and you come here on the shadow area and it looks right like this is the equivalent of the developer really doing a good job and setting up HDR as specifically for your TV. That's, that's, that's how this looks. Like, like awesome HDR settings. That's how this looks. Look at this. We go to the low luminance. This is a, this is a part that is not being illuminated by the sun. It looks perfect. We go to where the sun is. Let's go to here, for example. Let's look at that window. Look at that window. See here? This is this is super bright. This spot here being illuminated by the sun. Super bright. So you're getting highlights. You're getting perfect gamma uh, tracking. It's just amazing, man. Amazing. For example, I'm looking at this sun here. I can see trees close to the sun. I can see the trees here. That's how good is retaining detail on the bright area. So 650 nits, not now. Now the sun is a lot dimmer because it's just about to, to, you know, to go down. But you are getting 650 nits of highlight details or even more maybe. That's just the measurement I did. Then you're getting detail on the darkness. It, no black crush this is this is like a perfect HDR implementation on an SDR game <laughs> I think everyone should know about this everyone that gets this TV and likes to play video games needs to know like I never ask anybody you know subscribe or share but this needs to be shared because I want people that spend a thousand dollars or more on these TVs and you know like two or three thousand dollars on a gaming computer or a thousand dollars on your console plus all the games man you deserve to get what you pay for okay you deserve to get the best uh, settings the best quality and this is the best quality and the best settings I've been using this TV for a month and a half like every day hours and hours trying every single setting see how can how can I get this TV I even have a plasma TV that I've been like crying about Oh, this plasma looks better and it's because LG is just not giving you these awesome settings on your face they are just hidden on a secret menu and you cannot change the color gamut to native which is what I like so maybe that's not the most accurate but give me the option that's not going to increase um, you know latency or anything like that it's just ridiculous so because I don't have those settings available and I needed to basically discover how to make this TV work I was extremely frustrated at the beginning so I think everyone should know this and try it because I guarantee you if you try this you're not going back like there's no way I, I can use a different option this just looks perfect everywhere everywhere and every single game so I'm gonna keep trying this HGIG and see if it works for every single game I think it's going to <laughs> I think it's gonna work so yeah I would rather use dynamic tone mapping on and black frame insertion but there are some games like God of War, for example, is very static. Like the the camera is never moving like this. It's like very very linear. Uh, it's not. You're not doing this a lot. So I would take the better image quality. But look at that.
I see all the trees on that bright area. I see all the trees. It's, the image has so more, so much depth. It's perfection, man. <laughs> this is perfection, and I'm so picky. If I'm, I'm telling you, this is perfect. It's, <laughs> it's that I cannot find any anything. I'm, I've been looking for something wrong about this setting, and I cannot find it. I cannot find anything wrong about it. Try it and share this video with uh, with everybody because everyone that know everyone that has uh, an OLED has to has to try this man. If you play video games, even even for content, if you're watching an SDR content, I have to try it. But I'm I'm guessing this is gonna work also, and <laughs> it's gonna look a lot better. It's insane, man. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I'll keep trying other games and see if it works uh, also with HDIG.